the tiebreaker number two in the best of seven winner finals of the BFME One Ranger Cup tournament. Double furnace opening for Aizen, and I think he's gonna go for the furnace number three. And it's an old school opening, and the Uruks are marching. Nom zom with the resup for 19 months and also five gifted, my friend. Thank you so much for the huge support to the channel. Holy! Nelson just gifted five subs. What a pirate! Thank you, thank you so much, Nom Nom zom. Thank you guys. You missed a lot of games, Nom zom. You know, a lot of Fiesta games, BMs. They were trash talking each other in the chat. Warchan has been used. The lumber mill will be destroyed, no problemo. And we have a three furnace into the double tower situation. Double tower just to feel safe. And now it's gonna be Urupit. David, thank you very much for the primers for the first time subbing to the channel. Really means a lot. Thank you for the huge spot. David Backhand just subscribed. Welcome to Beyond Standards Crew. Thank you very much, David Backland. I mean, okay, he wanted to sneak in, but he was able... I like the way that he's taking this one first, which is a bit far away from the Isengard bees, and will be harder to be destroyed. He will now be reclaiming the settlements over here, and he's repairing with a lot. Here comes Eye of Sauron, but I think the structure will be destroyed anyway. Oh my god, maybe not. Oh my god, oh my god, he won't be able to destroy it. Oh, the repairing! Oh my god, so close. In level 2 orc now. This orc is gonna cause so many problems now, boys. The orcs are here blocking the settlement over here. And we get to see more and more Uruks. The second war chant has to pull off something. Remember the Mordor player has three lumber mills in total. That means he gets 15% wood bonus. And with this 15% wood bonus, a orc pit, which usually costs 400, will only cost now 340. Flag, six for the 30 pits. Appreciate it. Really means a lot. Thank you, thank you. Three Orc Pit against Aizen. What can Aizen do against such reckless heat? This uh, Lumber Mill is going to be slowly but surely destroyed. But in the meantime, Mordor was able to creep. That's pretty big for Mordor. And he's going to get to land very, very soon. Nice. Ooh. Full beast by four Mordor already, you know? That's the problem. Like, basically, Aizen is, grad Aizen is still four... Uh, Empty spots and Gollum is kind of guarding these two settlements over here. So whenever there is going to be something built, Gollum will be there to punish his opponent, you know? It's zero person he can snipe this. That's a strategy. I like this strategy. So you need to always do this. When you play Isengard, you don't see the Gollum. But you can do this one, you know? Then you will be able to see him again. Isengard is not weak. Isengard is only weak against Mordor. I think Isengard is pretty strong against Condor and Rohan. But this matchup is also going to be fixed. The thing is that the more games we get to see, the more uh, informations we get, and the better we will react to this, you know? Level 3 Orc Warriors, boys. Super strong. Berserker has been recruited. That's beautiful. Gollum is still blocking this, but he's spamming lots of Berserkers now. That's what you are supposed to do. Um, nice one. He's going inside the bees without Warchanto. Is he Warchanted? No, he's not seeming to be Warchanted here. He might still be able to destroy the slaughterhouse. That's going to be pretty good. I like it. And this strategy from Mordor is looking like he doesn't want to go for the Troll Cage. He want to go for the Nazgul Rush. 
Nazgul Rush is not good, it's not bad, I mean, for the momentum, it will create lots of space for you, and basically Isengard will suffer without any map control, but Nazgul means also that you will still need to make Witch King at some point of the game, and you need still trolls, drummer troll. It will overall help you out for a bit, but it will slow down your progressing later on, you know? Unless you can go for Witch King straight up, you know? Okay. Berserker healing up. Level 2 orcs, super strong. I'm actually scared about that, you know, when I open my Discord, I believe like I'm gonna lose my electricity again. So I'm avoiding everything which, which kind of can influence this by any possible situation. I don't want to lose my electricity for a third time in this <laughs> during this day, you know? I don't know what, I don't know what's killing my electricity. I was going upstairs asking my wife if there is nothing, you know, she's sleeping. It usually never happens. All of a sudden, it was like BAM and the whole room was dark. And I got scared. Warchan has been used on those three Berserkers. Splash damage is coming in handy in those situations. Hitting multiple targets at once. I mean, obviously, it's not a big deal if you lose Orcs, but it's a big deal if you lose Berserkers because they cost a lot. Um, Troll Cage is going to be built up. Actually, kind of Isengard, I mean, I, I don't want to say finding his way back into the game, but gaining some, some sort of momentum. The Berserker spam is coming in clutch. Their damage is kind of nutty. Watch this. Super, super damage. More Berserkers. And more Berserkers. Recruit time, only 9 seconds from a level 3. And I also like the Lourdes. A great investment into the mid to lead game. Trolls very, very soon. But Mordor is kinda not very rich because he has only three slaughterhouses, which means he only has in total 15% um, food bonus. He needs to pay for each troll 1020. But with enough food bonus, you could reduce their cost up uh, down to 840. I like this double, double mill. We get to see more and more orcs. I has been used, but Berserk is faster, can dodge. And also these Berserkers are kind of holding this. Look, guys, listen, what you see the situation? Dude, Isengard has four Lambert Mills under his control. Four of them. We've let a mountain troll out of his cage. We've expanded the orc pit. Dude, Fallen Rock, there are some people, some players who are following the strategies. And some players are writing the strategies. And Isengard can still be in this game. I will represent the men of Gondor. Thank you so much for the follow, appreciate it. Welcome. We've expanded the orc pit. Four Lambry Mills. Armor is super cheap. And even towers before Lambry Mills cost only 112. And remember the percentage discount is 25. So the maximum percentage discount. So you save a lot. On a structure that costs 1200, the armory. The maple is doing very well, actually. True. Hordes and hordes of orcs. <laughs> We've let a mountain troll out. Oh, one shot. Oh my god, don't do this. Don't feed. I like the outpost control. I think that's a big, big thing when you control the outpost with Eisen like this. And also Lourdes got level 3. I like that one. Um, there are still many creeps left on the map Forts of Eisen though. And creeping this will bring Lourdes a big step closer to level 5. He's gonna get like 4 in a bit from creeping this Vogliam. It means he will need round about half a level, you know, to unlock his damage leadership, which is essential in the lead game against Mordor. 
Troll Gauge level almost 2, one more Troll needed. Mordorna Outpost Control and Eisen, super nice map control. The money will be taken by Lourdes, who is by the way level 4 in a quarter. Trolls are cleaning up those Zergs. But Isengard, kind of reaching this point of the game, gives him, strategically speaking, 60% winning, <laughs> winning chance, you know? The Vestation will be chosen by Mordor. Mordor is kind of losing the map, though, against Zergs. How does Mordor win this matchup? Usually, you will see Mordor winning this matchup at bare minimum 60% of the time. So, like, in the arena there is a, there is a, you know, list of the matchups and you see Mordor dominating this list. It's the highest win rate in all matchups. I like this outpost though. I really, I'm a big fan of this outpost. It will be super difficult for Mordor to commit to this without Drummer Troll and a bunch of units. Mordor taking over the map a little bit at the bottom, as expected. Orc spam from Triple Orc Pit coming in clutch, of course. At some point you can't keep you know, basically pumping out Berserk anymore. Because a lot. Leadership from Lourdes unlocked though. It's pretty strong. We hear more and more hordes. And Isengard has already almost uh, freezing rain. Remember, Mordor went for the for the devastation, which is good for a for, for the moment, you know. But it will slow you down later on. Your darkness will be super delete. But you need it for the map. So outpost, this outpost pumping money for Isen. He has three lumber mills, which you need to be happy happy with when you find yourself without war riders with this much map control. I think that's quite big. And the thing is, if Lord gets level 6, the pillage will also be super useful in this matchup, actually. Yeah, you don't get too much for killing orcs, but you get... The quantity also is a quality on its own, you know? You get like one... Uh, you get like three for killing one orc. But remember, you need to kill eventually hundreds and thousands of orcs during the entire game. It's nice little extra cash, you know? Ooh, I like that one. Trolls are going hand, and but there is a crossbow man hidden around the forest. Oh, the whole combo is gone, actually. You know, that's bad. He has no crossbow man in the, in the tower anymore. They ditched out, but one of the trolls is going to be eventually taken down. No, he won't. Trolls are super fast. The whole combo has been taken down, but the... Oh, super close. Their damage is kind of good, though. Look the damage, but they can heal up. All of them have no trees in their hands, so they can always eat an orc to heal up to back to full HP. And it looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Just bring the orc to the troll, and you should be good to go. What you can do is throw rocks on the Zitter. There's four trolls. With rock throw, with uh, drummer troll, the Zitter is going to be gone. The position is going to be available for a second time very, very soon. Isengard has um, no Saruman yet, but he's making lots of combos, archers. Making a big army, Worthy of Mordor. Worthy of against Mordor, basically. He has combos. Um, sending combos one by one, I don't think it's good. The second Nazgul or Witch King joins the battlefield, you wanna you wanna be clamped a little bit. Running, but the drummer troll is not that lucky, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, the level 2 orc though. Look at them, they're eating the crossbow man. Now, the build is strong generally, you know, always strong. But it's a micro too, you need to kind of repair, you know, most people don't repair at all. The drama troll, yeah, of course, man, he's causing drama, you know what I'm saying? So, no, no thing here, the reason why he's not building anything here is because he doesn't want to block the shooting from the crossbow man. 
But what you could do instead is you can build a tower there and put crossbowmen into the tower. It would be also a solution. I mean, basically, half the map is for Aizen, right? Even more than that, actually. Mordor has only two Lambert Mills. Isengard has in total four Lambert Mills in one slaughterhouse outside now. Rain is available with Witch King coming now. There we go. But Rain will shut down Witch, Witch King and Drummer Troll and I and everything, you know? But again, you don't want to be exposed like this against Witch King. He's using Palantir for the resistances to fear. The Screech won't affect him anymore. And now the Witch King has to build. What's up, Flix? Welcome. Once again, thank you very much for the for the bits. Appreciate it. Oh, this new mountain. I mean, to be honest, Isengard is looking super strong. And now with a Saruman, he will have a huge all-out potential against Mordor. Remember, Saruman will kind of deny the trolls from going all-in. And whenever they charge in, you need to always think what Saruman can do to you. So warm tongue, and he can steal all your trolls. That's why when you get Saruman combos, it's super difficult for Mordor to commit to you. With all his army, you need to be smart, you need to be slow. Ooh. Thank you very much for the follow, appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Gavin with the gifted to fishy. Gavin, thank you very much. Ooh, the combo's exposed though. Oof, what a fine hit. Finish him. Don't let him survive. Gifted fishy underscore BF me a subscription. What a monster. Give in 360 gifted a tier one sub to fishy underscore BFME. They have given five gift subs in the channel. Thank you very much, Gavin, for the five gifted. And congrats, Fishy. Trolls are here, man. The thing is, Rain is gonna make them useless, you know? Oh, but the army is looking strong, bro. But he's calling it offensive GG strategy from Meeple. Offensive GG strategy from Meeple. He wants to beat the freezing rain. Oh, the drama troll is gonna be sent flying. One of those crazies has just been spawned. Rain boy. Actually, not a bad choice. To be honest, if you Loki, not a horrible thing. Rain is active for two minutes and ten seconds. It's it's a long time, to be honest with you, but. Whenever you can force your opponent to use Reen around this location, you will almost get your leadership back when you are around this location. And also smart move from Aizen to still choose the land to know, okay, actually he dropped one of the... Did you see, because his opponent built up this thing, he dropped one of the trees. This troll has no more tree in his hands. Visually he does. But he actually doesn't, you know? Aizen is coming. But every second means every uh, less and less rain duration. However, even without rain though, you know, there is still a Saruman who can steal. Leaks, thank you very much for the primers for four months in a row, bro. Thank you very much for the huge support to the channel. Since four months. YT just resubscribed for four months. Ahoy. The keep is ready. Die now. No Uruk can kill me. Okay, so again, the slowing down. Um, we have Rain, two power points on top of that. We have Darkness, three power points on top of that. Um, I Nomzom with the five gifted one more time. Nomzom, thank you so much. Holy. He's dead, by the way. Nomzom just gifted. He's dead, by the way. What a pirate. No, he's not. Barely, barely able to survive. 
Thank you very much, Nonson. Holy guacamole. What's up, Pro Slice? Welcome to the stream, my dear, my friend. You missed a lot of fiesta today, Pro Slice. Troll has been killed. Uh, Catapult sent forward. There is no... Um, there is no water either, you know? But what you can do is make some Zergs. Yeah, exactly. Zergs can kill. Now the leadership is back on the menu, boys. Now that's your moment. Ooh, the double kill! What a beautiful fireball, actually. Holy! Bro is crazy with subs, yeah. Actually, he is, you know. Thank you very much, Nomzom. Yeah, we need maybe Mumma kill action. Loki, Mumma kill action. Mumma kill super strong. I don't know why people are not. I mean, people are using it, but they should be using it more often. Mumma kills, they go crazy on fire, you know. Hordes and hordes of orcs. Of course, Mordor is the bigger the map is, the better for Mordor. In the wars for Aizen. It's a pretty normal sized map. It's not small, it's not big. Like when you talk about a map like, I don't know, think about Rohan map for example. You know, it's a pretty small map. Even Rohan is not that small, but the distance is pretty short. But Westfold or something, you know, it's so difficult for Aizen to maintain map control there against Mordor. Okay, so Mordor, is, Aizen is at the bottom side. And the good thing about Aizen is he is controlling both the outposts too, right? Rain is still on cooldown for the next two minutes or so. And again, fireball, boom. Okay. Two combos. Like, when you go for a... Here's a Nazgul. This Nazgul could be sent there and crush them a little bit. You want to crash the level 3 and screech for the level 2. Three combos. And here's a lot, actually. Now, one combo at the top, four combos in the base, and two combos at the bottom. His command points kept. He can't produce any more units anytime soon. So does Mordor. Mordor is also command points kept. And here's Orcs. Now, you might say, but Orcs are weak. Orcs are not weak. Boo, what a shot, actually. You see, when Trebuchet is going to get the chance to shoot, it hurts. It hella hurts. Rain available in a bit. Ooh, st kill! Oh, kill, kill! What is happening with the guy? Kill him! Nice! Oh my god! 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 No way, bro! The BM again, the question marking. Rain, you should have waited for the rain. Oh, the troll. Did you see the... By the way, he was stuck in the animation by in the mid-air. Poor Saruman. What can Saruman do against such reckless trolls? Oh my god, man. Hitting like a truck. You're, you're right, pro slides. Oh boy. Oh boy, <laughs> this is tragic boy, he's bringing the combos back now to the base, Reen is active in about a second. game number five dude this you see the you know i like it the score is two two it's gonna be three two after this one but it's not one-sided they are pretty evenish in terms of skill level each game can go either way isengard was controlling this game you know was looking pretty strong but the mind games the mordor played like the play here he made like kind of forcing the isengard play he knew Isen has rain so he was trying to beat him into using it yeah, he lost two trolls, but I think that's a great exchange. You lose two trolls, but force opponent to use Rain. It's kind of crazy, you know? So Mordor is closer to Balrog than Isengard is, actually. Kind of way closer. 
Three power point at the head. It works. A little bit too late. Aizen is super broke, by the way. Super broke. Can't revive. Uh, can't rebuild his base, actually. He lost pretty much 80% of the map. Trolls are still remaining. Green is active. But there is nothing that can deal damage to the trolls besides the crossbowman inside the tower. Attack the Witch King. Has been Oof. Warchant. Warchant the guy in the base, in the tower. Nah. I think even with Warchant, he could have not been able to kill him. The fortress has been gone. Has been taken down. Yeah. And basically now he's feeding power points with the war riders. It was looking very good for Aizen, actually. Hey, what's up, Jew boy? Welcome to the stream, buddy. Glad to see you around. Long time no see, must indeed. Join with him, Gundam. We must join with some. It would be wise, my friend. Thank you very much. The Nazgul fly the mission. Don't look at them. Looking left, right. Finish off the work with already, bro. Okay. Saruman, Lourdes, very long revive timers. Isengard, super poor. Not really rich. He has not many units remaining on the field anymore. He has two combos. Two and a half. So much death. What can men do against such reckless hate? True, 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 true. Dude, the troll smashing there was kind of crazy. Like, I, I like the way he did it, because he kind of went in with two trolls first, or two or three, I don't remember the amount of trolls, but he was kind of, like, he had trolls in the front line, like, Saruman was here, right? And he was sending one, two, three troll, but he has, like, three more trolls behind. So when Saruman steals, what happens with Saruman after he steals is he can't move for, like, two seconds or so, two, three seconds. But this two, three seconds feels like eternity. For you when you play with Saruman. Ooh, the demon of the ancient world, ladies and gentlemen. There comes Balrog. Balrog of Mordor, the demon of the ancient world. Demon of the ancient world. And Mordor is victorious. Maple has been defeated. The score will go once again in the favor of Clint Eastwood. 3 2. Even though Maple had more money, than, that's also pretty rare that Isengard has more money than Mordor. We had, he had very good map control, he had super strong <laughs> early, uh, mid game. But it was not enough. 